Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna to react to the new Washington Commander's uniforms, redesign my own uniform concept, then actually create that jersey in real life. So first, let's check out the new Washington Commander's uniforms. Washington Commanders. <gasps> now in all seriousness, these uniforms are some of the worst in the league. These look terrible. These look like they were designed by Daniel Snyder's nephew who just started graphic design school a month ago. And to be specific, let's get into why these uniforms are so bad. Now, first we'll go over the home uniforms and let's face it, these just don't look professional. This doesn't look like an NFL uniform. It looks like the uniform for a high school or a no-name college. First of all, I don't like the font they use for the numbers. The font just looks too skinny. It just looks too trendy. Most uh, NFL teams use a nice solid block font, and I think they'd be a lot better if they use a font like that. And the worst part is the giant word commanders on the front of the jersey. First of all, it's way too big, sticks out like a sore thumb, font, it's ugly, and then it's got these giant lines above and below it. I mean, it just looks terrible. And then the stripes on the sleeves, I mean, they're not, they're not bad, but they're just boring. So overall, it's just an unprofessional uniform. It just doesn't look like something an NFL team should be wearing. Now, the away uniform, these are the worst. These are what truly make me think, like, who designed these uniforms? Now, first of all, they don't match the home uniforms at all. There's no continuity. It's pretty standard that your home uniform and your away uniforms match. And yet, it's almost like they decided, like, let's just have two completely different uniforms that have no resemblance whatsoever. First of all, the numbers have this terrible gradient on it. It's like a pattern gradient. Now a pattern gradient is suspect in and of itself because gradients in NFL football, they don't really mix too well. But this is not just a regular gradient, it has like three or four shades to it. Like it keeps cycling in and out. It's white at the top and then burgundy and then white again and burgundy and then white again. I mean, it's, it's terrible. Even as, as far as gradients go, it's a disaster. Then they've got a similar thing going on the sleeve. There's another pattern gradient on the sleeve. And then the, sh the colors of the stripes of the sleeve just seem random. I know I keep repeating myself, but it just looks unprofessional. It just looks like someone who's just starting out and just learned Photoshop and is like, oh cool, you can make a gradient and decide to just throw up gradients all over the place. And then lastly, the alternate uniforms. Now, first of all, what in the world is up with this W in the middle of the front of their helmet? Okay, I've never seen an NFL team that has some sort of logo in the front of the helmet. They have these little patches on the sleeves and they don't look very good and they're small and they just seem random. I, I just don't like them. They don't, they're not appealing. And then, you know, as far as the, the numbers go, I do like the, the sort of mesh pattern texture on the numbers. That's kind of cool. I, I can go for that. But like I said, the font, not a fan. It doesn't look like an NFL font. It looks like a high school font. So overall, uh, the alternates are not terrible, but I definitely, definitely not a fan of the whole uniforms in general. Now I've been a graphic designer for over 10 years. So hopefully with all the knowledge I've gained over the years, I can come up with something a lot better than these. Now, first of all, with the name, I decided to stick with the name Commanders. Um, it's not the best name in the world, but it's not the worst either. The name that they should do should be related to George Washington. You know, Washington, D.C. is a city named after George Washington. So that would make the most sense. And of course, George Washington was a general. Uh, that's what he's famous for, as well as being the first president. But you can't call your team the Washington Generals because that was the team that the Harlem Globetrotters always beats up on. So that would kind of be a mockery of a name. So you can't go with that. So commanders, it's similar to generals. It's, it's military related. So it kind of sounds a little bit cheesy, but I'll stick with that name because it's not the end of the world either. Now the W logo that the commanders have, it's not too bad. Um, I actually kind of like it a little bit. Uh, the only small tweak I would make is get rid of some of these spikes on it. So that it's just a, a plain stencil W. Now there's a couple of things I wanted to keep in mind when I'm designing these. Number one, I want the uniform to be military themed. Commanders are military themed, you know, George Washington was a general. So definitely as much as I can incorporate into the design military elements, I'd like to do that. But number two, I'd like to keep the design very traditional. 
See, the Washington franchise, they've been around for almost 100 years, since the 1930s. So I'd like the uniforms to reflect that, that they're a very old franchise with a rich history. They're not some fly-by-night franchise with new and trendy uniforms. So I'm really trying to balance those two ideas as I'm creating a design for these uniforms. Now here's the fun part. Here's where we actually get into designing the uniforms. So the first thing I did here is create a whole bunch of designs in this 2D template I have here in Adobe Illustrator. And the reason I started with this template is because I can work extremely quickly and just get a bunch of ideas out of my head as fast as possible. So after coming up with a bunch of different ideas, here's the final design I chose. So I hope you like them. Let me know in the comments what you think of these uniforms, but I think they turned out pretty good. We'll start from the top, basically with the helmet, pretty much kept it very similar to the actual commander's helmet. Uh, same logo with the W there, although I did add a stripe down the middle. And uh, they had a stripe, but I made mine a lot thicker than the stripe that they have. And I went with a yellow face mask instead of a burgundy face mask like what they have. But moving down to the jersey, I decided to make the numbers all white. Um, but as you can see, they're not just plain white. Uh, they actually, similar to the actual commander's uniforms, uh, they have a mesh texture on the number but then I added an outline that has no mesh on it. This is a flat white outline around the numbers. And the reason I did that is I thought it looked kind of cool. I thought it sort of, you know, was more than just plain white, but at the same time looks kind of traditional. Like I said, I don't want these uniforms to look trendy. I want them to look traditional. I want them to look uh, well, kind of a little bit old school because after all, you know, Washington, the, the franchise, it's been around since I believe 1932, so it's a definitely a historic franchise. It's not it's not a newer franchise like the Jaguars or the Panthers, where where a trendy uniform is maybe a little bit more appropriate. Now for the sleeves, I really like this design, and uh, there was a couple options that I've been going over, um, but ultimately I decided on this uh, this emblem that I saw on a military uniform where it's got a star with two lines or two bars under it. And I thought that looked kind of cool. I thought it kind of fit football uniform styles, but also um, was something different and, and really brought that military theme into uh, a football uniform. And then of course I got the, the name commanders uh, above the numbers just in a smaller, um, uh, font, you know, it's kind of a little bit of a better font than what the actual commanders use. And then for the pants, I decided to go with one really bold stripe, one thick stripe. And the reason for that is that I've seen a lot of military pants that have one thick stripe down the side. So I thought that that would be appropriate. And then lastly, I decided to have, go with yellow socks uh, just as an accent piece. Now the away uniforms are pretty straightforward. So I basically just took the same jersey and then just made it white instead of the burgundy color. Just trying to create some continuity between the home jerseys and the away jerseys, unlike how the new commander's uniforms look like two completely different uniforms that have uh, no relation to each other whatsoever. They made the, the numbers, um, the burgundy color instead of white, like the other jerseys. I did add the yellow outline around the numbers. Um, I just thought that seemed good I thought that seemed better than just the plain burgundy numbers. And then of course I got the same uh, star with the stripes on the sleeves. And then uh, pants stayed the same and helmet stays the same. Now lastly here, I've got the alternate uniforms. And this is where I was able to have a little bit of fun. And just like the, the real commander's alternate uniforms are all black, I decided to do the same thing because I mean, who doesn't like all black uniforms? They're pretty cool. And uh, to start with the helmet, I made the helmet black instead of burgundy. And I decided to remove the stripe to make it more sleek, but I added the three stars uh, in the back of the helmet. And that's another element coming from the military theme that I'm going for. And then with the jersey, of course it's black and I did white numbers that have the same mesh texture on it. And I decided to have a yellow outline for the numbers because I thought that looked good. And instead of commanders on the front of the jersey, I decided to have these three stars, kind of the same theme of the military theme with the stars. Uh, I thought that was kind of cool. And then for the sleeves, instead of the other 
uh, with the star with the two bars look. Uh, I've found that a lot of military uniforms have these, uh, I believe it's called chevron stripes, these kind of pointy stripes. And uh, I guess that signifies what rank you are. So I basically decided to do something similar to that. Uh, I thought that looked pretty cool. And there again goes the military theme, but something different than the home and away jerseys that I did before. And then for the pants, it's gonna be the same where it's black pants and just a thick uh, yellow stripe. Like I said, that comes from a lot of military pants have uh, one thick stripe down the side. So I thought that fit well there. And then same yellow socks as before. I really like these uniforms. I think these would make great alternates. Um, I think they look pretty sleek and pretty cool. You know, have, have enough similar elements to pair well with the, the regular uniforms, but a little bit of tweaks and differences here and there uh, so that they stand out as something cool and different, not just the same thing with, with a different color. So yeah, drop a comment below and let me know which of the three uniforms is your favorite. Now this is the part you've been waiting for, where I'm gonna turn this raw fabric into that actual jersey design that I just came up with. Before I do that though, real quick, I just wanna give a shout out. Um, if you're interested in supporting this channel, if you think this stuff is kinda of cool, uh, check out the link in the description below. And uh, some of the artwork that I've done before, uh, you know, you can get it on a t-shirt or a cell phone case, things like that. You know, this t-shirt that I'm wearing here is, uh, is a drawing that I did before. If you want a t-shirt with Russell Wilson on it, or an Aaron Rodgers t-shirt, or Josh Allen t-shirt, you can pick up t-shirts like that. So just check out the link in the description below and that's where you can get some of my merch. So here's the fabric I used to create these jerseys. And like I said, I'm making these from scratch. Uh, I bought a jersey at the store that I used for a template to figure out um, what the layout should be like and I had to make some stencils out of paper to trace out the fabric. And yes, as a 49ers fan, it did pain me to uh, have to buy a Dak Prescott jersey, but don't worry, I might return it. So uh, no harm, no foul there. And as you can see, I'm just cutting out the template and uh, tracing that, leaving space um, for the stitch lines and all that. But this was definitely a, a learning experience and uh, had some flaws along the way, but I definitely learned a lot in the process. So I'm sure if I ever did this again, uh, it'd go a lot smoother that time. And here I am, I've got the fabric I'm using for uh, the numbers. And this is like a mesh fabric that I found that I thought looked really cool. And I, I basically printed out um, the numbers and I'm using a knife to cut out the fabric. The outline around the numbers is regular plain white fabric. So same thing, I printed out the layout, taped it down and I'm using this knife to, to cut out the outlines and then I just glue it down and as you can see there glue it down so that it stays in place and then after I've glued them I put it on the actual uh, the flat fabric lay it out there and then I uh, lay it out measure it make sure it's centered and everything glue that down and then after that I'm, I'm ready to stitch it on and I'm just basically sewing around the edge of everything, make sure it's on there tight, just going over all of the, the edges and everything with the, my wife's sewing machine that I borrowed. And then here I am creating the, uh, the TV numbers for the shoulder pads. And the key to creating good TV numbers is to make them a little bit wider than the, the numbers that go in the front of the jersey. If you have the numbers exactly the same width, then they're gonna look too small. So uh, that's a tip if you're ever designing your own uniform, is to make the TV numbers a little bit wider and fatter than uh, the numbers that go on the actual front and back of the jersey. And same process, cutting out the outline, gluing it on uh, onto the, the, the mesh fabric that I've got here, and then uh, stitching it onto the shoulder plate and just going around the edge there with a zigzag stitch to make sure it's all, it's all on there very secure. And then here I am cutting out the nameplate and uh, got the name Ether on there. And by the way, the correct pronunciation of that is Ether, not Aether. Uh, that A-E character makes a hard E sound like Egypt. So just a tip there if you're curious how to pronounce that word. 
And uh, here I am uh, laying it out on the nameplate. And uh, that way I have all the letters lined up. And then glue it down. And then after that, I use the sewing machine to stitch down the, the letters there. So they're not going anywhere, so they're permanent. And then after that, I take the nameplate, glue it onto the actual jersey, and then stitch that down as well so that it's nice and secure. And then after that, uh, cut out the, uh, the stars for the front. And then I also cut out the design elements for the sleeves, the, the big star on the sleeve, as well as the stripes. And then I laid those down. Uh, glued those down and then stitched them on as well, just like everything else. And then after that, I'm uh, hemming the edge and just sewing that with a couple of stitches. And then after that, I start uh, stitching everything together. The, the mesh part that goes under the armpits on each side, I stitch that to the front and back fabric. And then I uh, stitch everything together there. And then I stitch the shoulder pads onto uh, the body of it. And then after that, um, I basically stitch on uh, the sleeves to everything and then close the sleeves and stitch that up there. And of course, each stitch, I'm putting a, an extra double stitch on it, uh, which I think has a cool effect. And then lastly, I just gotta stitch the collar on which is definitely a tricky part, I'm trying to get that all perfect. And then after, after I've stitched the collar on, last just have to uh, hem the bottom of the jersey, hem the fabric at the bottom. And then after that, we're good to go, we're done. Well guys, I hope you like how that turned out. Uh, I'm a big fan of this jersey. I think it turned out pretty cool. This is definitely a fun project, something different, something exciting, um, but I enjoyed it. But I tell you what, it took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. I thought this was gonna be done in about a week and it really took about four or five weeks. So if you like this video, definitely leave a comment. Let me know that you like it. Uh, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Um, Definitely proved to me that it was worth it. If you liked this video, if you want to see me redesign other teams' uniforms, um, you want to see me possibly make another jersey like this, leave a comment, let me know. Uh, I'm willing to do it if uh, this video gets enough views and if a lot of people like this, but you know, if this doesn't get that many views, then it probably it's not worth the time. Um, I'll just stick with drawings. But yeah, I mean, let me know in the comments what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about the jersey and if you enjoyed this, you want to see more, more videos like this. And uh, like I said, check out uh, maybe picking up a t-shirt with some of my drawings on it. Uh, links in the description below. Hope you guys had fun. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'll see you in the next video.